Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex. Today we're going to talk about my decision making process of leaving public. So after working in public for a little bit over a year, I was a little bit exhausted to be honest. Um, the hours were really long and it just felt like it never ends, especially when you're in the middle of busy season and busy season just doesn't feel like it ever finished. You start getting busy late January and then you don't get all your tasks complete until April 15th. And that is just a very long grind. Um, I remember waking up super early in the morning. The sun was not even up at that time. And by the time I get off, the sky is really dark. So I just felt like I was working nonstop. I don't even see the sun. Um, part of it is because, well, it's daylight saving time. So uh, the sun goes down pretty early, but still, it's a type of mental feeling that just doesn't go away. So after a year of grinding, I just felt like public life is not for me. It might be for some people, some people excel well in it. Uh, they don't mind working overtime to enjoy the fast paced environment. Personally, I don't mind the fast paced environment at all. I think it was the nonstop working long hours and you just don't know when um, one thing can be accomplished. It seems like there's always another task around the corner. And that type of environment just made me feel like maybe this is not for me and it's time to move on. So I know a lot of online professional suggestions are don't leave public until you're two years in after you make senior or don't leave until you make manager. But for me, getting that title change or getting that more experience in this type of environment really were not what I want for myself. And I started to thought to myself, what is my priority in life? Do I want this type of lifestyle for another year? Or can I stick it out all the way to manager and stay here for another four or five years? So after thinking what my priorities are on um, that moment, I just don't think public is for me. I needed an exit. And, but if I don't find an exit, it's completely fine. I would just stay in for another year, but probably two years top. I think I just wanted to get my experience and then get out and find an industry role that has a better work-life balance. And that's what I want in life. So with that in mind, I started looking elsewhere. I went on a lot of corporations website, just learning about what their company does. And I, honestly did not do too much of a job search because I know I was still pretty inexperienced at that time. I only worked for a little bit over a year. So if I wanted to be very marketable, I probably should stay another year to make senior. And there's a lot of advice online. They're all saying that if you leave before your two year mark, it's pretty much not getting any experience at all. And some people saying that um, just staying one year is not long enough. But some people also say having one year under their belt and that should be enough to move on. So for me at that moment, I was thinking to myself, if I don't get a role in industry, that's fine. But if I do, I'm definitely gonna jump for it if it's the right opportunity. So with that in mind, I just started to Google around, see what jobs are available around the area and just starting to look up some companies that I've really liked their product or just some companies culture that have influenced other people a lot and that I have heard of. So I went on their website and just started applying everywhere. Um, I didn't think I would get a lot of response, but fortunately I did. And especially in the middle of pandemic, I didn't think there's that many employers hiring at the time. So I was super lucky. I was fortunate enough to land an industry role, which is the job that I've been working for almost a year now. I enjoy this industry role a lot. Work-life balance is great. I don't have to do uh, the 12 hours, six days a week type of grind almost half of a year anymore. Leaving after one year was good enough because having that one year under your belt, you still learn a lot from public about how you should, I guess, email professionally and how to talk to um, different colleagues, build that rapport between teammates and how to communicate professionally. I think public taught me a lot, um, those soft skill. 
which is very important as a young professional. I definitely appreciate public teaching me all that. And leaving under two years under your belt has another advantage is that you weren't too far into the field, so you can easily make the switch no matter what other role that you're jumping into whenever you're looking for industry role. You aren't really pigeonholed in any specific type of role. You just go for it. If you get it, you can start brand new and you don't have a lot of um, other experience limiting you to just do, say, I've been in tax for five years and that's all I'm gonna look for, or I've been in audit for four years and the only job I can look for is audit related. So if you leave early enough, you still can branch out for a lot of different career opportunities that you have not even thought of before. So I would say leaving before you get promoted to senior is not such a bad idea either, especially when the right opportunity are present in front of you, definitely take it and you don't have to wait it out until you make seniors. So that's the main reason why I left public is because I just couldn't do with the stress anymore. I think part of my mental health was impaired a lot during all those long hours. And at some point I felt like I was just punching numbers. I was just a robot doing a lot of those tasks. I don't feel like that's the life that I want for myself. Even as a young professional, I feel like there should be more in life than just working 12, 13 hour day and just doing the grind nonstop. So that's just not what I want. So that's the number one reason why I left public. The second reason why I left is I don't feel like um, the work that I do is what I really enjoy at the same time. I majored in accounting and then I got my master in taxation. So being a tax accountant probably um, is the best route for me at the time. But doing the work that I was doing in public, especially at the volume that we're doing, I just don't think that's what I really like or enjoy doing as my full-time job. So as I was doing it, I don't particularly hate it or anything, but that's not something I really enjoy either. So. Um, number two reason for me was just to have a change of scenery, just to see um, how the companies are outside. I have always heard that industry role are much more routine and much more predictable. And I just wanted to see how accounting works from the other side of the book. So I just wanted to branch out just to challenge myself in that field. So that's number two reason why I left public. Number three, and probably what a lot of people thought of should be their number one, is compensation. So as a young graduate without much experience, many people will be okay with working a low 50,000 job or high 50,000 job and think it's pretty nice. And for me, that was a really great starting point. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm, I can't disclose exactly how much I made while I was in public. But just as a general figure, I know that first year staff accountant starts anywhere between 54 to 60,000, just depending on the area. On the Southeast region I was in, 55 to 60, anything in that range was pretty common. And just felt like the work I was doing, especially compared to how much it was built out to the client, I was not getting compensated well enough to make up for all those loss of minds and long hours. And to be honest, I would rather work less hours to get less pay than working all those overtime without getting any type of compensation back just because we're salaried. So I just didn't think that was fair. And I saw a lot of Reddit posts online saying how there should be a union formed for accountants working for public, I thought that was hilarious, but I don't think if that's ever gonna happen just because of how um, the structure of accounting firm works. So jumping to industry role definitely give you a good bump in terms of your compensation. And once I received my new offer from um, the industry role, it was pretty good bump from what I used to make and seeing that definitely makes me uh, realize maybe we're worth a lot more than what they were previously offered. But we're still all young, we're still learning. So uh, that wasn't that big of a deal. That's why I 
rank it to my number three reason is compensation definitely get increased once you jump ship. Work-life balance gets a whole lot better once you're not in public anymore. Um, so those are my top three reasons why I left. And another number four reason why I left public is also because um, once you have a house and once you have other errands to take care of, you just feel like there's just a lot of things that you got to do around the house to just keep the family running and keep your apartments or house tidy. And if you have pets or anything, you just want to spend time with them versus just I guess just working nonstop. I know that kind of ties in with the number one reason why I left is because of work-life balance. So once I made up my mind and then I evaluated my priorities and looked at my options and I asked myself, would I be happier if I go into an industry role that probably works some busy months in the year, um, working maybe four or five, even 50 hours, um, in some of the busier months, am I okay with that? Would I be happier? And after asking myself numerous times, and I always might find my answer to be yes, I will be happier if I don't have to work as much. It's not that I don't want to challenge myself and just really have great work ethics of working and just getting the grinds on. I just feel like there's more to life than just work. Almost 70 hours for half of a year every every single month for six months, I just feel like it's not worth it. Uh, it's not worth it for mental health. It definitely takes a toll on physical health. Um, I remember my eyesight got significantly worse and constantly having back pain or neck pain because you've been staring at the screen so long. So after just thinking to myself, would this make my life better? And after finding my answer to be all yes, I decided it was time to move on. Sometimes I see some posts online asking when is a good time to leave public and I always see people comment down below saying whenever you want or whenever you feel like it's time, it's time and I definitely agree with that. As there's just this moment when you realize I just can't do this anymore and I would rather do anything else than this and I think that's the time that you should move on. If that idea is still in your head, definitely don't be afraid to leave and don't be afraid to um, look out for other options or jobs because the market is really good for CPAs right now. And definitely um, don't limit yourself to the geographic location that you were previously in. I had to relocate for my current company as well. But we're still, making it in this accounting field, whether or not it's in public or not, there's a lot of value to add, no matter which side of the books you're on, whether you're an auditor or you're doing internal audit, there's always value to be added. You don't have to start in public and end in public as a partner. Once upon a time, I thought that why don't everybody just grind it out and make it to partner and make a lot of money. But I know that the reality is most people really don't have the work ethics or just the physical health or mental health to last them that long, the 10, 12 year journey to even become a partner if you are even very good at what you do. And I think most people would rather have a happy family, start enjoying things outside of work. And I think that's why a lot of people leave after two, three years. So that's my thinking process of leaving public and I hope you enjoy it. If I have any questions or comments, please comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them and have a great day.